Hey, Movement family, my name is Amy, and I have previously served in our young adult ministries. And today, as I share the Devo, I am standing before my bedroom doors, which have post-its that are a representation of a stone of remembrance for me. And the reason that I am sharing about this is because just as Pastor Jeff had spoke about the shield of faith, these are the things that have helped build my shield throughout last year, this year, and it's something that I've been doing since the start of 2019. Um, each post-it says something that God did in my day, or it's something that God uh, did through me or in me or showed me or a vision or a word or something that I gave to somebody, something that somebody gave to me, um, small blessings. There's you know, provisions that God has uh, given to me in my life and throughout the year. And so I place them on my door because it's what I see when I go to bed and it's what I see when I wake up. It may not have the best presentation in my room, but I don't care because it speaks of the things that God has done in my life and is currently doing or maybe is going to be doing. And I, I share this because in the book of Joshua in chapter three and four, God tells the Israelites to cross the Jordan to go into the promised land. And so when they do that, the priests were instructed to carry the Ark of the Covenant, which represented God's presence. And when the priests had stepped foot on into the river, the waters parted and the Israelites crossed in, onto dry, crossed over dry land, just like they did with the Red Sea. But this time, God instructed Joshua to take one man of every tribe and to go pick up a stone out of the river to use as a memorial to remind them of what God did and what God took them through. And so at the end of chapter four, these stones represent that all the peoples of the earth may know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty and you may fear the Lord your God forever. So this was a means for the Israelites to look at this stone and remember what God did, the promise that he made, and he was faithful to it. And not only that, but initially it was meant so that when their children asked them, what is that? What does that mean? They would tell them about who God is and who God was to them. And so these are my stones, my memorial stones. I refer to them as stones of remembrance um, because when people ask about God or they ask about things that are happening in my life, I am reminded of these things or I, I literally see the post-it in my head and how I wrote a word and what I saw and I, I talk about those things. But most importantly, I say it helps build my shield of faith because there have been times and days where I feel defeated or I feel um, fearful, I feel doubtful, I've lost my hope. And I sit on my bed and I look at these post-its and I read what God has done. And I, I read about the miraculous God that he is in my life. And it helps build my faith again. It starts to restore me and it starts to remind me that, yes, this is the God I serve. He's, he's so faithful. Why would I ever doubt? And I really believe that we're in a time right now where we have to refer to who God is on a daily basis, every hour, because scary things can happen Things look a certain way and we don't know how we're going to get through it, but God has made promises and he's faithful to fulfill them. And so I say this all as an encouragement, I hope even an inspiration for you to sit down with the Lord and start asking him what your stones of remembrance are supposed to look like. And maybe it is writing things down in a journal because you're really good at referring to the journal later and reading it. I don't go back to my journal often. I have to see it in front of me, but you know, some people, maybe you need to start taking pictures of things that are re resembling the things that God did, or you need to start making collages where you cut things out of magazines and you, you place them into this collage, you know, or maybe you literally have stones in front of your house that you can write a word on that is going to remind you of who God is. One way or another, I think that it's important to take that time with God so that he brings these things to mind to you of who he is, how faithful he is and encourages you daily to take up your cross, take up your shield, take up your sword and put on the armor of God. So be inspired, be encouraged and remember the things that God has done in your life. Be blessed by that.